This is an example of how to build a one-to-one -one relationship in the database. Now, uh, generally people define one-to-many relationships. However, there are times when you might want to have a one-to-one -one relationship. An example of that might be if there were very many columns in your uh, t in a table and you wanted to break it apart such that you ha you could put some of those columns into another one, into another table. Um, I have an example in this model of customer preference. So I have a customer table that might have first name, last name, and other customer attributes, but perhaps there's a lot of preferences that you wish to keep separate from a customer. Um, and there's only one preference row for every customer, so it's really a one-to-one -one relationship, but I just don't want to put all of these columns into a customer table. Now, obviously, my example is trivial, but uh, this could ha obviously have hundreds of preferences if you wanted to, and we could just separate it from the customer table. Now, the way we've done this is we have a primary key on the customer table of customer ID, and of course, being a primary key, it is unique. So, we come to the customer preference table, and it has its own key customer preference ID. Maybe you want to use the key for something else. However, you also want it to be related to the customer table. So, I've created a customer ID. It's the same type as the customer ID in the customer table. It's an integer, just like this one is an integer. And this customer ID is related to this customer table. So, if we look at the relationships, the customer table is related to customer preference from customer ID to customer ID. So, uh, the only difference, normally this would be a one-to-many relationship. If you had one customer and many preferences, you would obviously have a uh, customer ID in here and map it the exact same way, and you'd have a one-to-many relationship. Now, the way we have a one-to-one -one relationship is I actually mark this customer ID as unique. Now, since I've marked this unique, there can only be one customer ID of that value inside of the customer preference table. So the generator knows that there's going to be a one-to-one -one relationship so it generates the code appropriately since there can never be multiples inside of there. So after you generate, we come to the code and I've already written a little bit for us. So if we have a customer, I'm just going to select uh, a customer by primary key, assuming there's a customer 27 we'll just get a customer. Uh, the whole point is the customer normally would have a customer preference list, but since it's one to one, one item has one item. So the customer has a customer preference item and that gives you a customer preference object. And you can go the other way around. The customer preference object has a customer item and these are the exact same item. Um, if you do, they actually uh, pull equality there. So uh, this is just to show you, after this compiles, that, that the customer preference is not a list uh, off of customers, it is an item off of customers, and the customer is an item off of preference. So this is truly one-to-one. -one. There is exactly one object associated either way you go.